Jolie here from Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Dennis McCann. Bethnal Green's your call. Uh, good to see you. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. You? Yeah, very good. Uh, good night of action so far here at BT Sports uh, Prospect Show. And obviously, you're no longer a prospect. You're on the big show, December the 4th, Anthony Yard, Lyndon Arthur undercard. Not long to go for you to uh, get back in the ring. Yeah, definitely, mate. Ready to stay, stay the show as per usual. Now, uh, we spoke about this in our, our last interview. You, you often wear some, some different shorts. Is it going to be black and red again this time? Black and red, mate. The men's colours. The men's colours. <laughs> Um, Jay Paul, talking of uh, boxing shorts, has like an LED strip on his. He's, he's changing the game. Uh, a lot of people begin to talk about him, whether it's interviewers asking promoters, everyone's talking about Tommy Fury versus Jay Paul. Do you like what Jay Paul is beginning to do with boxing? He's earning shitloads of money. You can't knock, you can't knock the geezer, can you? So he's got loads of birds. He's earning shitloads of money. I mean, you can't hate in the fella, can you? Yeah, you're doing very well for yourself, very young. Uh, we're literally, I think our birthdays are 10 days apart from each other. With Jake Paul doing similar things at a young age, do you kind of think it, you understand where he comes from at a certain sense, changing the game? Fucking hell, mate. You've been a stalker, man, yeah? No, definitely, mate. Listen, he's doing well for yourself, and you can't knock the fella. Fair pay to him, do you know what I mean? Fair pay to him. It's my job. I'm, uh, I'm, it's my job to be a stalker, but hey, what, how do you think that fight plays out? I think it's January, January, a 50-50 fight. Um, I think it's January, 50-50 fight, and I think, I just don't know, Jake Paul, he's, he's no mug, is he? So I just don't know, I think it's 50-50. It's going to be a good I'm fight. I'm sitting on the fence. <laughs> it's going to be a good fight. How about Anthony Yard, Lyndon Arthur? I'm going to back Lyndon Arthur because he's got a great world-class jab, and he's a good mate of mine as well, so I'm going to back um, Arthur to do the job. But back to yourself, um, obviously 10-0 now, really starting to get used to the pro ranks. How do you think you're going to play out on, a, how do you think it's going to play out on December the 4th? Yes, I always come to entertain the fans. I, I always come from the every time. If I don't stop them, I wobble them at least, do you know what I mean? So I'll always come from the knockout as usual. But um, help a God go with them and get the job done. And next year I'm going to start kicking on for some big titles and taking out some big names in the Bantamweight division. Liam Davis? Not just Liam Davis, all of them, every single one of them. Whoever's got the, the belts and whoever's a bantamweight, I'm going to slap them up. <laughs> now, listen, you are genuinely an interesting fights as well, and you're always being good support. Uh, the Copper Box is a good arena for that. Uh, are we going to see a few a few of your people down there? Definitely, mate. I'll sell it out. I'm going to sell it out. Sell it out. <laughs> one day. I think it's going to be uh, great to see your progr career progress. How soon do you think we can see you pass those titles and in even bigger fights? Obviously, like I say, not taking anything too seriously yet. But, you know, not long to go until you're in headlining fights and, and uh, yeah, selling places up. No, definitely. Next year, I reckon the middle of next year, the end of next year, I should be headlining a show and um, some big titles and be taking out some, some good names. Taking them out in style as well. Do you ever feel pressure being as that you've had a good amateur career and obviously there have been a good amount of eyes on you for, for someone so young? Listen, there's always pressure and there's always nerves. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be a human being if, if you never had them, but I know how good I am. I shine under pressure, I don't fold. And uh, I think everyone knows that everyone's seen me in the amateurs. I've beaten Russians, Ukrainians, Bulgarians. Whoever they put in front of me, I've beaten. Do you know what I mean? I beat Olympians, everything. So these little whippersnappers don't bother me at all. I'm ready to smash them all up, I can't wait. <laughs> There's the title. Now, I think, um, obviously, Archie Sharp was out last month. Good fight. Uh, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, he boxed well, he boxed well. He got the job done, didn't he? That's the main thing. I think he's fighting again soon on the Sunday Edwards on the card. So, um, that ain't announced yet, but uh, I think he should do the business again. It is announced now. Yeah, I'll announce it now, yeah. <laughs> now, Sunny Edwards obviously meant to fight Jason Mama um, not so long ago, obviously getting postponed. It was actually the day after the first prospect show. Um, how do you think that fight plays out? I'm always back on my man, Sunny Edwards. Always back on Sunny Edwards. Top class, clinical boxer. And just seems to get the job done in style every time. A world-class boxer. One more question then. Obviously, here at the prospect shows, as I say, you're 10-0 now. We're kind of past that. But what do you make of them? Obviously, the stuff Frank's putting on. Uh, the guys here at York Hall getting some good experiences. Very good. My mate of mine, Adam Muhammad, just, just got, got the job done there a second ago. The pirate. The <laughs> He's going to give me a little £10 tip later on for a pack of Harry Bowls. But uh, he, boxed, he boxed top class. And um, don't, don't everyone proud. We've been together... Our whole uh, amateur career, so he done the job, got the job done tonight, and that's who I come to watch tonight.
Brilliant. Well, I appreciate your time. Look forward to speaking to you. Also, also my mate of mine, Henry Turner, my stable mate as well. He's going to do the business very soon. He's over there warming up. Oil, oil down. Looking sexy, he is, though. Sharp and sexy. He's looking, looking good, sharp and sexy. Ready to get the job done. Well, um, this, this makes me a proper stalker. Um, I just want to say rest in peace to your friend. Obviously, I saw on your Instagram. Um, a friend from very close age as well. So, yeah, sorry to hear about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.